there is a customer for whom I have designed an analog gyroscope. Uh, this is the device under test in the lower uh, right hand side, the image. And uh, because the customer is uh, confidential and so is the design, I'm not going to show it in this video, but suffice it to say that I can measure the analog values from the gyroscope through uh, I square C. So to do this, I'm using a rocket flight computer. And uh, this is where you can clearly see that uh, this is a very versatile board because you can only you can use it not only for rockets, but also for this kind of purpose. That is because the I square C ports are um, easily available. So, but the problem here is that a rocket is a 3.3 volts device and the device under this test is 5 volts device. So what they use is a level shifter to convert the digital signals from 5.5 to 3.3 volts and vice versa. To rotate the gyroscope, I have built this motor controller based on a 555. You can find all the pictures of these sketches in my GitHub, GitHub folder that you will find in the video description down below. Then to measure the rotation, there is an optical gate. So basically there is an LED and a phototransistor and they are uh, facing each other. And whenever there is an object that interrupts the light beam, I get a pulse. Let's see this in action. All right, let's start spinning. Turning on the power supply. Now with this potentiometer, I can adjust the rotational rate. I can make it go really fast. Or I can slow it down. And then from the oscilloscope, we can see the pulses. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Okay, so now I'm adjusting time scale. So for example, from here, I can measure the rotational rate. So I'm adjusting the cursor here to measure time. I measure from one edge to the other. And this gives me 400, 141 milliseconds. So that is like 7 hertz, so 7 times per second, multiply that times 60, and you get the RPM. So about 420, 420 revolutions per minute. These are the results. I'm very, very happy because I'm using a rocket to power the device, and rocket has a switching regulator. These are known to be noisy. And yet when I have a stationary a gyroscope, I and I take these 544 samples, I get a noise level of like 36 microvolts, which is excellent. And these are the this is the calibration curve. So all these black dots are uh, measurements. And um, we can see what is the voltage output both for positive and negative angular velocities. That means that uh, the device is spinning clockwise and then anti-clockwise rotation. And uh, from the fit, we can get the uh, sensitivity. And uh, this is a very linear fit because R squared is so high and uh, I'm very happy with these results. This is something different from rockets, but uh, I hope I hope you have liked it and that uh, you might consider using rocket for different purposes. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.